Greetings everyone. This brief uh, video is a tutorial on how to learn uh, regression models using Microsoft Excel. And um, the idea is first to present a, a very quick one minute intro to regression models. Um, basically, if y is the dependent variable um, and x is the explanatory variables, then a regression model could be expressed as y is a function of beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus epsilon. These betas are the um, parameters that we'll, uh, we will estimate using the model, and epsilon is the error term which we will not discuss today. Um, the transport model that I would like uh, you to practice with me today is um, basically testing this hypothesis that uh, passengers flying between um, any origin destination pair, that is two cities, uh, the number of passengers depend upon how many, uh, or the number of passengers de um, flying between the two cities depend upon the distance between the two cities and also the airfare. And the assumption is uh, greater the distance, uh, less would be the passengers, and also uh, higher the airfare, and fewer will be the uh, number of passengers flying between the two cities. The data set is available online. Um, um, for it's on uh, the course website called uh, Principles of Transportation. The exact website is sites.google.com forward slash site forward slash transfer trade, uh, trade forward slash assignments and this is assignment four and you can see the data there um, you can download the data either in um, um, excel format or in the in the um, uh, r format so we are using microsoft excel so we will be um, downloading the data in microsoft excel format uh, the data um, looks like this um, it has uh, multiple year um, data sets so uh, starting from 1997 to uh, 2000 and for this particular video i have chosen only the 90 1998 data set, but I expect you to use the entire data set. How I have, however, extracted only 1998's observations. Um, the origin and destination cities are given, so is the route identifier, but the three variables of interest are the distance in miles between the two cities, average passengers per day flying between the two cities, and the airfare, one-way airfare in, in dollars between the two cities. And then there's a lot of transformed um, uh, variables for distance, fare, and the number of passengers. And there are three distance um, uh, binary variables uh, depicting the year 98, 99, and the year 2000. Moving forward, we have um, the um, option of using the Excel for the regression, and Microsoft uh, has an analysis tool pack. Um, it may not be there um, when you want to use it, so you may have to um, load it and, and, um, and uh, add the add-in, but in my case, I already loaded the add-in. And also, um, um, there's the, the add-in comes in uh, fully equipped with uh, uh, regression and other statistics um, in the Microsoft Windows version. The plots are also uh, built in, 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 in Microsoft Windows version of Excel. And the process is we will do descriptive statistics, scatter plots, and estimate regression models. So uh, this is how the, the data set looked like. And I'm just going to make it a little smaller. And, and the year is 1998. The, the three variables of interest are contiguous. Notice that I'm working with passenger distance and fare, and Excel requires the, the, the variables to be contiguous if you want to select more than you know, one variable to perform any analysis. So I've make, made sure that the variables are contiguous to, to each other because I would not be able to select these two here and let's say uh, this variable here uh, to do the analysis. So if I click on data, and then on data analysis. Um, and if this data analysis is not there, then you go into Excel and then under options, um, I think file options, and then add-ins, analysis tool pack, go, and then you have to select this. And I've already pre-selected it, so it's fine. It's here. And I select data analysis. And then I select descriptive statistics right here. And I say OK. And I s have to select the three variables of choice. Uh, so these are passenger, distance, and fare. And I say shift control to the end. And um, I have 1,150 observations in the 1998 data set. So they are selected. I want label. I have labels in the front row or the first row. And I would like to have some statistics. So I say these are the choices I would make. Click OK. And here are the observations. Um, uh, there are about 617 average daily passengers with a standard deviation of 790. The average distance between the cities is about 990 miles, um, and the average airfare is about $175 for the 1998 data set. So let's begin with the 
um, a graph between distance and passengers. Distance um, is plotted on the x-axis and passengers on the y-axis. So I have um, made sure the distance is in a column that precedes uh, passengers. So I say insert and scatter and select this. And here the distance is in the x-axis and passenger is in the y-axis. And you can see there may be a hidden sort of latent trend that as distance increases the number of passengers flying between an origin destin pair, a destination pair declines. So let's see if this relationship uh, is also um, a holds for between fare and distance. So I select these two variables and I say insert, scatter, and um, let's see. And you could see here that uh, again there's a sort of an invisible trend and if I were to fit um, a regression line to it, I'd add a trend line I said and I said let's say a linear um, a line to it so okay close and yes so you could see the linear line and, and it is a downward sloping curve but a regression model would do a better job of it so let's start with the regression model um, I can delete these graphs or save them elsewhere but I will move them right now um, so I will go back into the, the the data set and I said data data analysis select regression and uh, click on regression, say OK, and input Y range. So my dependent variable is passenger. I select the whole column, and then I say input X range, and my explanatory variables are uh, the two um, uh, fair, uh, distance and fare. So I select the entire range of the column. So um, from col uh, columns E1, cell E1 to cell F1150, I have my explanatory variables. There are, lab there are labels in the first row, and I would like to have the results in a new worksheet, and there's nothing else to change. I click on OK, and here are my results. I just make these first um, uh, few columns a little more wider, and the results are very interesting. Um, the First of all, the adjusted R square is 0 0.02, or roughly 2%. It's certainly not um, what I would call a good fit. And uh, for this type of data, a good fit, I would say uh, 10 to 20%. And this is only 2%, so it's not really good. And uh, you usually see this as um, in percentages, and uh, with a couple of more decimal points. Here we go, and there's this is the model now. The coefficients are the model, um, the beta coefficients. So beta naught is the intercept 905. So all else being equal, the conditional mean is 905 passengers. And you see there's a negative coefficient for distance and a negative coefficient for fare, suggesting that as distance increases, um, it results in uh, fewer passengers, and as the fare increases, um, it results in fewer passengers. So for fare, you can see that, um, and if I were to just standardize it to two decimal points. Um, for a dollar increase in airfare um, uh, results in um, uh, 1.6 fewer passengers, uh, daily passengers in, a, in an origin destination pair. And the T -sat stats for fare um, is, um, is um, uh, significant, uh, whereas the one for uh, um, distance is not the magic number is 1.96 or 2 and you can tell from the p-value that this is this variable is significant that is fair and distance is not significant you want to see the equation this becomes passengers is equal to 905 which is the conditional mean minus 0 0.01 times distance minus 1.57 times fair and this is the regression equation uh, for this model you can repeat the same analysis with the uh, data using the log transformation. So log of passengers could be regressed um, uh, with um, uh, log of distance and log of fare. And the resulting model would be interpreted as elasticity because when you have both um, the dependent and the explanatory variables log transformed, the resulting coefficient is called um, elasticity. So if we were to estimate a model using log transform data, the resulting model is presented here. Notice that the adjusted R square is slightly better. Actually, it uh, is not slightly better. It's significantly better. And the last time we had a 2% R square, and this time around we have a 5% R square, which is or almost 6%. Um, so it's not bad. And um, um, so it has improved. The log transformation has improved the model fit. And if you look at the equation, it says that the uh, log of passengers is equal to 8.4 
0.02 minus 0.032, log of distance minus 0.52, log of fare. Or in other words, in terms of elasticity, uh, we would say um, a percentage increase in distance um, reduces the number of uh, passengers within that uh, origin destination pair by 0.032%. Or a percentage increase in fare, one percentage increase in fare, decreases the number of passengers by minus 0.5%. And this is the classical definition, or classic definition of uh, um, elasticity, a percentage change in one variable resulting in a percentage change in another variable. So this pretty much is how um, uh, one would do um, regression analysis in Excel.